In this video, I will be showing you if it is uh, possible to connect multiple microphone in a Zoom conference. And in this setup, it's connected to the V8 sound card as well as to the uh, mixer. I will be showing you also a sample Zoom meeting with only one participant. Also, I'm going to show you if you can sing in a Zoom conference. Without further ado, let's get started. These are the cords or cables and other things we will need in this video. So first of all, this is the mixer. This is the V8 sound card. Of course, a laptop for our Zoom meeting or conference. And this one here is the USB to micro USB. This comes when the V8 sound card is purchased. A headphone or headset or earphone. I will need this so that I can hear what is happening as, as a host. So I will need this one. And so I have three phones in here. Uh, this one is a dynamic microphone. This two are the condenser microphones this uh, cords here are the same they are both XLR XLR uh, cords or cables and this is another one XLR to uh, to 6.35 mm or 1 4th inch uh, so that's it looks like and this one here is uh, the uh, uh, 3.5 mm TRS to double 6.35 mm or 1 4th inch male uh, TS. So you don't need to have this one if you have uh, this one. This one is RCA to 3.5 mm TRS. For the sample uh, meeting later, I will be using um, this phone and uh, I will be using also an external speaker to connect to this phone. That is so, to avoid the uh, feedback because it's so close to each other. And now let's start the connection. So first, let's connect uh, this uh, micro USB to USB. So this one, just find the uh, the uh, charging or or the one to connect to the computer. So here, the one that says charging, connect this one there, the other end, and the other end connect to the computer. Just locate the uh, the port for the USB in the computer. Okay, there it is. And uh, now I will uh, connect this one also, the headphone or earphone to the sound card. So I'm gonna connect it to the earphone or speaker. Okay, and now I'm going to connect this uh, XLR to the uh, mixer over here. So let's uh, connect the shorter cord one to the second one. And I'll connect this one to, let's say one of, uh, let's say to the black one. And let's connect also this other XLR cable and this time I'll connect this one to the first one there. And I'll connect uh, this one to, to the uh, another uh, like BM800 or condenser microphone. Okay, so that's it. And this one we will connect to this uh, dynamic microphone. And then the other end we will connect to this uh, V8 sound card. So there is only one dynamic microphone input or port on here. And now let's try this one. Okay, so to connect this one, uh, you have to locate your stereo out of your stereo out of your mixer. So on here, the stereo out is right there. So again, the stereo out in this mixer is right there. So I'm just going to connect this one there and this one there. And the other end, I will connect to the condenser mic. So the input for the condenser mic. Again, as a recap, so the dynamic microphone or dynamic input on here is connected to the dynamic microphone and the condenser mic port here or input is connected to here, to the one that says stereo out from this mixer, which is the two microphone, condenser microphones are being connected, this one, this two here. 
and uh, I connected also an earphone and the last one is the uh, the one for charging so that is connected to this uh, laptop so as you can see here the zoom app is already uh, open so as a host of course you have to uh, sign in and put in your information after we sign in, we should see uh, something like this. And by the way, I am going to add another cord or cable. So this is 3.5 mm TRS to uh, micro USB. This comes when a sp uh, sound card is purchased. So I will use this one. I'm going to connect the other end to live uh, two. So the reason of me connecting this one so that I can hear, I can let you hear also what you can hear as, as a host. So I will use this one later to connect to the gadget or phone I'm using for this recording so I'll connect that later okay so now as a host of course you will select a new meeting so let's uh, now open it from here of course we will select join with computer audio and before we go farther or you can do this one earlier so we can we have to turn on this one now the V8 sound card and let's turn on also this uh, mixer okay there it is so it does uh, like recognize right away the USB we uh, plugged in earlier so if you go here so the one that says stop video the arrow up just uh, tap that or click that and video settings and from here just make sure the uh, check your audio settings so from audio right there make sure your speaker is not the built-in speaker of this laptop so let me just show you quickly so this is the built-in speaker do not select that so select this one as your speaker so that's the the one that says b1 usb audio and of course for the microphone you select you have to select also this one so that it captures also the you know the sound effects from the sound card so again this is the built-in microphone don't select that so you should select this one uh, the usb that you plugged in and that's the one recognized over there so there it is so we're now uh, set we can exit from there as a participant so I, I turned on already the zoom from this uh, phone on here so just uh, select join the meeting and to get to the uh, meeting ID just uh, open this one the one that says participants and invite so the ID is right there the password is right there so let's enter that and then join and now we'll have to enter the password which is right there password is case sensitive Okay, and let's hit continue. And uh, so we can X out now from there and let's select Wi-Fi or cellular data from there. Okay, so we'll, we are now connected. So as I uh, showed you earlier, I will be using a, a speaker. So this speaker, I'm going to connect this one to this uh, gadget. The speaker is now connected uh, via Bluetooth. Okay, so now this gadget, as you can see, is now uh, connected uh, to this uh, Zoom meeting. So again, this is as the participant and this one as the, as the uh, host. Now, uh, before we start, I'll lower the volume first uh, from there. And now, as I mentioned earlier, this uh, dynamic microphone is connected directly to this uh, V8 sound card. And this two condenser microphone, BM800, are both connected to this uh, mixer and then connected to this uh, sound card. Now, uh, uh, just to show you the... Uh, the settings on here are pretty much the same. I just put them all of them pretty much in the middle. So like the gain, the uh, and all the all these are in the middle except the volume here. Uh, I just put them in low for now. Okay, so now we can get uh, started. So let I'm going to uh, connect this one now to the phone I'm using for recording, so you can hear the uh, sounds or the audio being a host. And the settings from these uh, sound cards, so I just pretty much put them, most of them in the middle, like the treble, the bass record is always high, and music, is, I put them on high, and the monitor, I put them on high as well. And for the mic, uh, I put them in the middle, and the echo, I just put them uh, over here for now, so like over more than half. So I just uh, put them that way. But again, it's up to you, whatever is your uh, preference, for sure you can play around with it. 
Okay, and now I'm going to connect to this, um, this one connected to Live 2, so this cord, the 3.5 mm, to the uh, camera I am using for recording so that I can uh, show you or I can let you hear the audio being a host. Sound check, testing one, two, so again as a host, this should be the audio you will be hearing. Sound check, testing one, two. Again, this dynamic microphone is connected directly to the V8 sound card and it's uh, plugged in right there. Sound check, testing one, two. And now I'm going to try the, this two other condenser microphone connected to this V8 uh, sound card. So as you can see, the volume right there is still on low. Let me uh, turn this up, maybe up to there only. Maybe uh, let's say about nine o'clock, something like that. And change our uh, microphone okay so the black one the black one is uh, the second one and then the silver one is the first one right there okay sound check testing one two so as you notice this one is pretty uh, the, it's, it's more powerful than the dynamic microphone and my mouth or I'm not even too close to it and it's powerful already sound check testing one two and uh, what about the silver one? Sound check. Testing. One, two, three, four. Sound check. Testing. Testing. One, two. Again, if I'm going to try the, this uh, dynamic microphone, which is connected to this uh, bait sound card. Sound check. Testing. One, two. So it's not as loud unless I have to move it so close to my mouth. Sound. Testing. One, two. Again, the condenser microphone, I'm not even too close to it and it's loud already. So sound check, testing, one, two, three, four. So as you can see, all of them works. So it depends uh, on, the, uh, on your mixer, however many uh, uh, port for, uh, for a mic, microphones, then that's how many you can, and that's how many microphone you can uh, you can use in your, uh, let's say, Zoom conference or, or meetings. Hey, okay, now let me show you this time the uh, audio your participants uh, can hear. So what I will do, I'm going to unplug this red uh, cord on here uh, so that uh, we can hear the, uh, the audio coming out from that speaker behind me, which is connected to this, uh, to this phone as our uh, participant. Okay, and now let me just lower the volume here for now, and I'll make sure I'll uh, turn the volume up from this uh, phone so that uh, we can hear the audio from the uh, speaker. Okay, so first uh, let's try the uh, this uh, dynamic microphone. Sound check, yeah. testing yeah. one two. Yeah. Sound check, Sound. testing one yeah. two. So it sounds like it sounds uh, laggy. Uh, again, sound check, testing, one, two, sound check. Let's uh, turn it up a little bit more. Sound check, testing, one, two. So that is the audio you can hear uh, from using this dynamic microphone. And now let's uh, give it a try. So that is the audio as a participant, uh, the one that they can hear. Now let's try this uh, condenser microphone. Okay, let's just turn the volume up from here. Okay, somewhere there. Sound check, testing one, two. Sound check, testing one, two. And now let's try the other microphone. Sound check, testing one, two. Sound check. So the audio is not as great, I should say. So maybe let's turn it up a little bit more. Sound check, testing one, two. Sound check. Again, let's try this other one. Sound check, testing one, two. And now let's try again the dynamic microphone. Sound check, testing one, two. And by the way, the dynamic microphone, the volume is right here. Sound check. Testing one, two, so I cannot uh, turn it up more because it will feed back. Sound check. Testing one, two. So as you can see, they all, they all uh, work. 
And now uh, let's uh, give it a sample. Let's try the uh, sound effects from here. Uh, let's see if your participants can hear it. So let's uh, try some of the uh, sound effects from here. Or let's try this one. Okay, so what about, uh, let's say, Minion? Okay, it does work. And let's try Laughter. Okay, and by the way, of all this uh, setup right now, um, the uh, the Peach Band or the Voice Changer does work. So pretty much all of the effects from here that does work. Let's uh, give it a try. Okay, so let's use this one. Uh, the condenser microphone connected from here. Okay, let's just turn the volume up again. Sound check, Sound check. testing Testing one, two, one, two. and let's try the peach band or the voice changer. Sound check, testing one, two. So again, the voice that you are hearing, that is uh, the uh, audio from your participants. It's coming out from the speaker behind me. And uh, let's try another one. Let's try this one. Sound check, testing one, two. So again, it does work. And... Uh, Okay, let's just, uh, let's just stop, stop it. it. Now, as a host, let's uh, try to share a screen. Let's say, for example, you wanted to show uh, something to your participant. So, of course, the one that says uh, share screen, let's uh, just uh, click that. And from here, you will have this option. So, I have opened already uh, some uh, Chrome, like YouTube from, from Chrome. So it's right there. I'm just going to show this video to my participant. And if you want to show the video only, you don't need to click this one, the one that share sound. But if you want to share also the sounds, then you have to click this one, the one that says share sound. So in that, in this way, you're sharing both the video and the audio. And now we're ready to share and let's now hit or click share. So this is the, this is the YouTube video we are sharing to our participants. So it's right there, as you can see, it's right there. So it's best if we're going to maximize this one. So it's uh, like a full view. So the, our participants should also see the full view of this video. So now let's uh, play it. So you can hear also the audio coming out from, from the speaker behind me, which is your participants uh, can hear. Okay, let's try it. Another wire. So to do that, if you, like for those uh, who do not know yet how to do it, simply go to the your settings and then... Okay, uh, so, the so as you can see, it does, it does work and uh, t for sharing a video, the audio is pretty straight, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty clear. You can control the uh, volume from the laptop or from the YouTube itself. Okay, let's just uh, X out uh, from here. So now we're going to stop sharing. So it's just right there, the one on top, and then just hit or click stop sharing. And now we stop the sharing. I have received a few comments asking if they can sing on a Zoom conference. Let's give it a try. So let's use again YouTube, a karaoke song. So I have prepared one on here. So just simply open it. Since we already uh, set as uh, the V8 as our speaker, of course, whatever you play on here will uh, come out from this uh, V8 uh, sound card. I'm gonna put this back, so plug this back to the phone I'm using for recording, so to show you what you can hear as a uh, host, so the audio the host can hear. So again, let me put this back to the uh, camera I'm using for uh, recording this video. Okay, let me just put on my headset. And I'm going to use this uh, second one here, really? which is wow. the black condenser mic. Let me just, let me just turn, turn the volume, volume up. up. Sound check, testing one, two. By the way, if you if your purpose of your uh, Zoom conference is not for singing, so just don't forget to lower the echo so you will have a flat voice, so something like that. Sound check, testing one, two. Let's say if you wanted to sing in a Zoom conference, so of course you need some effects on it. So this should sound like that. And now let's uh, try to uh, play our uh, our uh, karaoke song. So in this case, make sure the music is up because that is uh, that uh, audio from uh, from this uh, laptop. Okay, let's uh, play this one. You don't have to answer. Let's 
uh, stop that one. So that's pretty much what you can hear as a host. Now let me show you something else. So this is uh, so this Dutch Dutch is like a voiceover. So which means as you talk, uh, the audio or the background music faded, and when you stop talking, then the the audio will go up again. So let's give it a try. Let's play this one. And now let's turn on the Dutch or the voiceover. Okay, and now I'm going to talk. So as you can see, the audio or the background music faded. And now I'm going to stop talking. Okay, so there it is. It does work. Okay, so let's stop this music now and let's turn this uh, voiceover or Dutch uh, off. Okay, so and now I just uh, removed uh, this uh, one connected to my phone and this time I'm going to uh, let you hear the participants uh, can hear. Okay, so let's just turn this volume up and now let's uh, use again the same microphone. And now this and now is now what your participants, what your participants can, hear. can hear. Okay, let's play this, okay, let's play one. this one. You don't have to answer. I see it in your eyes. Maybe it was better left and sent. Okay, let's stop it from there. And now the same idea if in case you wanted to share your karaoke song, let's say for example you wanted someone else to sing that song so same idea share screen so go there and um, just uh, select this one and share and your participants should be able to see that as well and again it's good to maximize it so it's a full view from your uh, participants so something like that and once you play it they should be able to hear that and sing along with it okay so uh, so something uh, like that Okay, I'm just going to stop the sharing right now. Let me just lower the volume from here. And uh, I'm going to stop now the uh, this uh, Zoom conference. So I'm just going to leave from here. Okay, leave meeting. Okay, so I'm now alone on there. Okay, and now I'm just going to show you this other chord I showed you earlier uh, to check if this works. So, uh, so instead of this one, we're going to use a different cord. So let's just remove this one. And again, this is connected to the uh, um, condenser uh, input or my condenser mic input. So we will replace it with that. With that. So same area, same same input, condenser microphone. And then the other two, we're going to connect it from this mixer. So let's connect it to the one that says rec out. So simply red to red and white to white. So to try this one, I'm going to plug this back again to the phone I'm using for recording. So we can hear uh, the audio. Dynamic microphone, sound check, testing one, two. So as you notice, it doesn't work. Sound check. And now, so let's just turn the volume up. Sound check, testing one, two, sound check. And let's try the other one. Sound check, testing one, two. So as you notice, they all, they all work. And that's all I can share for today. Thanks again, guys, for watching. If you like this type of videos, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.